my place, which is actually a bonus. One of the guys on the channel, one of the subscribers, Matt, I think it's uh, Tulip, Matt Tulip or something. He goes by Tulip. Nice fella. He lives on Vancouver Island, actually. So uh, that's a nice connection. Thanks for the, uh, the tip on that, Matt. Appreciate that. So we're gonna go down and have a look at this thing. I've seen pictures of it, it looks pretty good. I'm hoping the uh, center to center rails are lined up good. That's always nice. There's another one I looked at. It was a little wide, it was for a Chevy. So we're hoping this is gonna be good. We'll find out. See you guys down there. is flying down the highway just running beautifully it's got that river roads coming up we're getting close okay here we're rolling in there's the flat deck right there there it is so he'll be coming out here any minute looks pretty good doesn't it okay it's a nice little piece of property let's pull in here and have a look I think I like it. Let's see if we can roll right under it. Okay. Uh, looks like... Looks like the rails are lining up. It's on... Uh, it's actually on... Uh, on looks like... <laughs> oh, dear? Well, there's a couple blocks of firewood and... and you Matt. When he was no, Ryan. This is Ryan, guys. You're on the channel, Ryan. There you go. Absolutely. Well, I'm working with Billy Ray here trying to square up a deal for this beautiful flat deck. Rare vintage. Oh, yeah. Vintage, hey. baby. And he knows I like the vintage, eh? <laughs> well, with the truck like that, I yeah, absolutely but, know it. But it, you say this came off a Ford? This came off an F-350 yep. uh, from the mainland. Yeah. No, shit. Sorry, it's an F-450 Super Duty. That oh, because I think... Helicopter logging truck on Tex-8 Oh, it was, eh? Absolutely. Because the rails look... Uh, the rails look like they might be bang on. Okay, we're gonna back in and just see what this thing looks like underneath this truck. Now, whether or not we can get in there, I think we can. Looking right, good. Right there. Let's take a look at this. How much more perfect could this be? He's got this set up. I mean, it's long, but it doesn't look horrible. It is long. Does Billy Ray want a great big long truck? This is the question. Do I? What do you guys think? I think it's not bad. I can always cut it. You know what? I can always cut it. You know what? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Look, I'm almost actually at the frame. This is actually almost the right size. Look, you see how these little things right here? Look, and actually look, the wheel wells are, the freaking mud flaps are good, Ryan. <laughs> Look at what was I thinking? This is actually uh, actually perfect because then there's the two frames right there. Right, take a look at this. I know. So this is where that went. You see, that's where those things oh, they they, yeah. they bolt to the frame. So yeah. I, I'm I'm a little short or long or whatever. So I can add to that. Yeah. I don't mind this, buddy. Okay. I actually don't mind it. Makes me happy. It's it's long, mm -hmm. but it's not that long. Well. Do you ever regret having something too short? No. You're we got, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. And 12 feet, when you got to load her up with firewood, Shit. you want 12. Ryan, we got a deal. I love it. We're in the country. 
The country deals are the best. Did you see those two pieces of flesh joined together and go like that? That's called a farmer's deal. Good as a gas. And he's got the hat. Over and out. Okay, we bit. got farmer Justin down. He's gonna give us a hand loading this thing. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, Gus. I'm gonna have to just slide back a little teeny bit, but once we drop down, we can actually muscle it with our hands on that. This is Justin. He's loading us up here. He's doing a hell of a job. Okay, friends, we got her. <laughs> I told you I wasn't peeing around. Look at her. 12 footer, you know what fellas? It fits on there nice, doesn't it? Looks good. Hey, good. look at these guys. Homeboys from Shimanis, really. Hello, Justin, yep. Jeff, Ryan. Ryan. There you go. Ryan's the tree guy. <laughs> okay, these guys helped me out get this thing on with the old tractor and that. And Justy's got some uh, McCullough's he's gonna show me after. I gotta go home and edit this and get it out to you. Thanks fellas. Yeah. Talk to you guys soon. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. We got her strapped down, we're gone. These guys are awesome help. Totally just helped me get that thing right on the bloody truck. See ya fellas. Oh, look at me, look he's fucking taking prickles home. What did I do with that? Okay, we're gone. We're on the highway. We're rolling. These guys are good guys. So, there she be. She's on there. We're going down the road. The headache rack's in there. It's probably sitting a little, I don't mind that though. I can, because it's just kind of strapped down. So I can, this thing rides way different now guys. Way different. Oh, it's a nice wide truck. Now, I'm gonna get stuff in there. So, so get this, get this. This is interesting as heck. It's 12 feet long. If I go four feet high, guess what I'm packing? You guessed it, three cord. It's three quarts. I love it. It'll haul it, but it would hurt it. <laughs> it would hurt it. But I might do it just for the fun of it one day. Oh, she runs way better now. Weren't those guys nice fellas? We'll talk to you guys when I get back. We're gonna go edit this for you. Over and out. Stay kind. Okay, right off the hop. Justin. Jeff and Ryan, thanks for helping me out with this flat deck for the 69 Ford. I drove down to, oh, and as a matter of fact, uh, Matt, he's a subscriber. Um, he goes under Tulip, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. You know who I'm talking about, fellas. Well done, and thank you so much. Look at where we are going here. <laughs> Look at it. I mean, hey, come on. Come on. It's actually, it, it, it's actually perfect. I'll be quite honest with you. You know me. Look at it. Come on. <laughs> Look at the swing that kid's got on over there. He's following you. You're pretty good there. Oh, he gets, he get. I shouldn't have said nothing. You know what I mean? And we got her cinched down at there in the back and that's kind of how i got it home so it's on there i mean it's, it's good but it's not you know obviously it's not workable <laughs> crazy this is look at this thing guys gals women and children i would do hey i'm not joking this is going to be a mccullough truck i'm not kidding you it's going look at it don't tell me you tell me if you think that's too long tell me straight up right now remember now i mean functionality is important in a truck like this like it is now we know what i do right i i pack logs firewood all this kind of stuff okay so eight foot that's eight foot there that truck is the old the old ford 75 fords an eight foot dump truck that's the old tree truck right and it's awesome like it's awesome but now this thing with the extra four feet 
trust me um, I'm stoked I thought you know I thought this truck could be a little you know a little shorter and, and have it kind of kind of funky and a little bit not so so big but I'm stoked because think about when I got the McCullough saws on there with the logs and doing bucking bucking demonstrations me and Bobby Walker doing bucking demonstrations with old power saws off the back of it at the logger sports the black and yellow McCullough I can't believe it's something I'm ripped I'm ripping I'm loving this look at it and it oh does it ride smooth now like it because it had no weight on it look at look at the overloads they're not even near touching okay look at so so there's the overload springs you see this truck's designed beautifully the, the Ford made us Ford made a tough tough truck they just did they made a tough tough truck you know this is a 69 Ford F350 oh I love this truck look at so what do you think about the flat deck the 12 footer it don't look out of, it don't look out of whack does it doesn't look out of whack at all looks like a great big work truck I love it 12 foot deck stoked stoked so what I'm gonna do <laughs> check this out friends look at this look at these mud flaps go try and buy a set of mud flaps like that It'll cost you an arm and a leg look at that inland Kenworth listen to me <laughs> listen to me adding it up I'm kidding I'm not like that it's just funny I just I bought lots of trucks over the years lots of trucks and mud flaps are an issue and these are actually incredible they're sweet they've got a great big truck on them how cool is that hey oh so this truck's got gorgeous mud flaps too that came with the truck but they're just straight up you know they got a little thing on there you know they got the front ones too actually this truck's got mud flaps factory mud flaps the Merc they're, they're going <laughs> look at them they're gorgeous I had to oh man I like these old trucks I can't believe this oh I'm stoked I'm, I'm just stoked look at this you guys look at freaking this come off it I, um, I, <laughs> breeze enjoy the simple things Man. that's beautiful so you can picture this eh? black and yellow okay black and yellow Makala excuse me yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good gap it's a little I, I I didn't want to slam it up against the cab right right off the hop because I, just because I was driving it down the highway when I was getting it home and I didn't want it to be rubbing and I just you know it's good there it's good there for now if I need to bump it up I'll back into a tree you think I'm joking <laughs> I'm not there's the tree right there <laughs> I would do that that's what I would do plain and simple and it would just bump it forward and I'd be off to the races because I'm foolish well I don't know about, about you guys but uh, I, I'm it's the perfect flat deck for the truck it's a 12 footer I can carry a 16 foot log on here legally 16 footer two freaking rims okay they're rear like they're the rear ones dualies now the only thing with this truck is I've, as I've got split rims on the front you see the old split rims they were kind of haywire we all know this actually for now she's going black and yellow she's going to be backyard show but that's what you know it's going to look good it's going to look good black and yellow that's weird for me I'm usually uh, green and white right that's my colors green and white has been for years 20 years so over and out friends talk to you back at the campsite